Hello and welcome back to another video of UiPath. In this video, we will see how to move file from one SharePoint site to another SharePoint site. And then we will see how to move complete folder from one SharePoint site to another SharePoint site. I have already created a video on how to integrate SharePoint and Azure with UiPath. You can find the link in the description box. Before go ahead, it is a request to all of you. If you like the content of this video, so please hit the like button and subscribe my channel for more video. Go ahead and let's start the video. So first of all, I'm logging my SharePoint account. Before I start, I want to inform that I have already covered SharePoint site creation and as you how to create application id and tenant id and assign api permissions so if you not seen my previous video so please check out the link in the description box please watch now here you can see this is my sharepoint account first of all sharepoint here you can see i have two sites this is my first site and this is my this is my second site okay First of all, I'm creating a folder like get files. Okay, click on folder is created, and here you can see folder is empty. Put on first side. Here you can see folder and files. First of all, I will move this manually created Excel, and then we will move this folder under this folder i have some files also okay. so let's go on ui path so this is the configuration sharepoint and azure with ui path i have explained in my previous video how to integrate sharepoint and azure with ui path go to activity I'm taking here find files and folder activity take and drag and drop here under this we will give the name which file we want to move okay so I move this manually created Excel Excel as I here here you can see this is the first output so here I have already created a variable so I'm using here like file name I have created and result for result I have also created a get result variable okay and this drive name so we have to give the first site drive name here this is the our drive documents so we will give the name here documents okay documents and for URL so I show you this this point I have already covered in my last video. So till here, this is our site URL. So you can give this direct and you can use variable also. So here I'm using variable that I have already created site URL. Now second, so basically in this activity we will finish in this activity. We have filled we have filled all uh, first site information here. So in this activity, in this first file and folder activity, we have filled all details of our first SharePoint site. Okay. Next activity. So same activity we will take here. And this find and folders activity we will fill. Second SharePoint site information. Okay, so here I'm creating a variable SharePoint drive name here. So I show you this is our second SharePoint site, and this is the drive name documents. We have to give the in the double quotation documents and site URL. So till here, this is the our site URL. Okay, now done. 
next activity i'm taking here move file and folder and here you can see office 365 classic files and move file and folder activity you will take here okay so here we have to give the first site uh, output variable this file name variable we will give here file name okay and here i'm using process id variable now done let's done let's check the second side uh, refresh first refresh it under this get files folder here you can see manually file is come here and now we will move complete folder so here we have to give the folder name only files okay let's run Okay, now done. Check inside. You can see files folder also come here. And check all file is there. Yes, all file also is there. So if you like the content of this video, so please hit the like button and subscribe my channel for more videos. I will see you in the next video with new topic on UiPath. Till then, happy learning.